afternoon. Welcome to TGGS. Uh, this is Automotive Safety and Assessment Engineering Program. We have a professor from the Aachen University. Could you introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Jan Wilhelm Biermann. I'm coming from Aachen, Aachen University of Technology. And uh, I'm happy to be here, once again here, because I'm doing this lecture since a long, long time. So I'm always happy to be here and to do this teaching for the students uh, again year by year. So uh, as I mentioned before, my name is Jan Wim Biermann and I'm uh, working at IKA. IKA is the meaning of Institute of Automotive Engineering. And I've been there since a long, long time, the vice uh, president uh, of the institute. So I retired four years ago and my uh, professional uh, job have been there. Uh, focusing on uh, battery electric uh, driven vehicles and hybrid vehicles and the other side is the other topic is uh, NVH the meaning is noise vibration and harshness and uh, this has to do with the comfort in a car and this is a very specific and very interesting topic because you can imagine that uh, in, in Europe and also in the US uh, the customers are more and more interested in having a comfortable car that is not noisy, that is not shaking, that is not boring. So, and that is why students have to know, and also the engineers, how to find a good balance at the end to have a product that is very interesting on the market. And that is why this topic, and in, in Aachen I'm giving lectures for the students in German language and also in English language for students coming from all around the world. But also I'm giving training, training seminars for engineers who are working in the OEM companies but also in the supplier industry because there is a big lack for them in having this knowledge. And that is why they are interested in that. And I'm giving those uh, uh, training seminars four times a year for people from outside and this since more than uh, 20 years and in that time more than thousand more than thousand mm. people have attended these courses so that is why you can see that there is a need for this and that is why i'm interested to giving this lecture here at TGGS to have for the students and also for the staff the possibility for going ahead mm. in that field mm. so to be in front uh, when there is uh, the question for innovations. So what do you think about the direction of automotive industry in Thailand? You already mentioned about the electrical bus. Uh, in Thailand now we focus on Thailand 4.0 and automotive industry it will be automotive uh, new, new, new generation of automotive industry and we focus on the electrical vehicle so what do you think about the, what is our program direction so we, we have to do some assessment and testing also what we think is, is a good opportunity for the student for the researcher from the industry to to come to talk to with us or we do research or testing what you your idea about that yeah. Uh, starting with the topics, I think the topics for the future for automotive uh, um, uh, industry is and also for the uh, scientific work behind that because uh, I think the topics are to make at first the fuel consumption make it lower to reduce it, the first one, more efficient and this is also true for the engines now used in the cars. That means spark ignited ones, diesel ones. So to reduce the fuel consumption, the first thing. Next thing is to reduce the exhaust gas emissions. Emission. Emissions. And emissions, one emission is what you can smell, the yeah. other one is what you can hear. And once again, this is also worthwhile for the health of people who are living in the cities. Yeah. So one possibility beside the uh, engines who are used and equipped now in the cars, another topic is what you mentioned before, electric vehicles, yeah. battery driven, yeah. or don't forget hybrid yeah. vehicles. Hybrid means a mixture of the combustion engine yeah. and the electric vehicle. Yeah. So with hybrid vehicles, you have not the problem of this limited range. Yeah. 
So this is what is the uh, ongoing discussion in Germany, and especially also for buses, yeah. because there is a big pressure in uh, Germany, I know it, from the local administrations, that they say, we want to reduce the exhaust gas in the cities. Yeah. And the first, where they are addressing, is the public transport. Yeah. These are the buses. So that is why this is the topic for the car maker, for the powertrain. Mm. So this is one topic. The other one is, this has to do with the uh, environmental situation. Uh, to have green energy and so on. The next one is, of course, uh, to see that there are still, uh, there is worldwide an interest in autonomous driving. Yeah. So, but for this, you need all the technology yeah. in censoring, in the infrastructure, yeah. in data handling, yeah. to make it safe that not people, crazy people from outside, yeah. can get the control yeah. over the cars. And you know there are a lot of crazy people yeah. on the way. So that, that are the big issues. Yeah. This is the next big uh, topic for the future. Yeah. And the last one, and that is what we have not to forget, the last one is the safety. Yeah. Because there are still accidents on the road. Yes. We have reduced that dramatically yeah. during the last 20, 30 years. But we have not reached a sufficient target Whenever one people is dying, yeah. it is one people uh, more than zero. Mm. And this is what we have to avoid. The target is zero accidents. Yeah. And for this, this is a big issue. And I think, now I'm coming back to Thailand, yeah. I think this is a very important topic here. Yeah. So you have crowded situation on the roads, a yeah. lot of traffic, then the scooters, whenever I'm sitting in a taxi, I see the scooter, scooters flowing around yeah. that, and I'm wondering how this uh, can be managed. Yeah. A situation, if we would have this situation in Europe, yeah. we would have accident by accident in every minute. Yeah. So I think, uh, I think that uh, the election of automotive industry in Thailand, they will focus on the testing and standardization. So mm -hmm. we will use a standard from the U EU, uh, European uh, nation, and UNEC regulation, but it should be adopted from Thai situation. The context of the accident uh, happened in Thailand is different the uh, scenario in, 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 in German. So I think that uh, the way we focus off automotive industry in Thailand, so maybe conduct for the testing, evaluation and innovation. So we can develop, uh, conduct the testing, whatever the product from the industry, from OEM, they come to Thailand, we have to use that. So the best way to be, uh, 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 to be used for road user, so we have, under to, we have to understand the situation of the product, the quality of the product. So that's why our uh, automotive safety and assessment engineering, our program is, I think, is is the I believe that is only one our program we do standardization we do testing we do automotive safety issue that yeah, and yep yeah. <laughs> okay I think what is very important is that in this discussion uh, and this is going around the car yeah. around the vehicle yeah. and the buses and so on there the engineer the who is developing those cars and who knows how they are working and how they can be improved. This engineer, maybe like you, should be involved in this discussion. And this should be in the center of the discussion because those engineers know how they can improve it. And that must be the discussion with the government and with the medical doctors and whatever. Road users also, but don't forget the position of the engineer. And I know that this discussion in Europe, this is done with the car, car makers and all the with the scientific stuff. So that you have the people who are experts, who know how it is and how you can improve it. You have to have them in the middle of the game. And I don't know if that's a situation in Thailand. And if not, you should move in that direction. That is my hint. Okay, so that, that is uh, for now. I hope that you can listening to our discussion and I hope that you can be our part 
uh, to join as a student or as a researcher in our program. So to build a network from automotive safety and assessment engineering in Thailand. Thank you very much.